Hi friends, in this video, I'm gonna make an environment controller. This controller can be used for poultry and livestock shed as well as for greenhouse. So without further ado, let's start this video. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB, which is one of the largest PCB manufacturing company of China. First, I have created schematic diagram of the project. Then I created PCB layout and then I generated Gerber files and upload them to JLC PCB website. Then I selected all required parameters such as dimension, quantity, color and a few more options. Then I click on save to cart. This will send our project into shopping cart. Then I click on check out securely and then I add my shipping address and select my desired shipping and payment method. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels, do subscribe them as well. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. First, let's see how our environment controller is going to work. A heater, a cooling pad with a water pump and 5 fans can be connected to the output of the controller. Relays are used to drive these devices. The controller has an LCD screen to display the actual and set values. The set values can be programmed by the buttons on the controller. A temperature humidity sensor is used to monitor the temperature and humidity when the temperature is less than the set temperature, the heater will be turned on. And when the temperature is equal or greater than set value, the heater goes off. When the temperature is greater than the set value or the humidity is less than the set value, the cooling system is turned on. The fans can be set to turn on and off at a specific temperature. Now let's make the circuit. So these are all the components we are gonna need for this project. First, I'm gonna connect Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect a 2-pin terminal block and connect its 1-pin to 5-fold pin of Arduino and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 16x2 LCD and connect its VCC pin to 5-fold pin of Arduino, its ground pin to ground pin of Arduino, its SDA pin to A4 pin of Arduino and its SCL pin to A5 pin of Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect the temperature humidity sensor and connect its VCC pin to 5 fold pin of Arduino, its ground pin to ground pin of Arduino and its data pin to A3 pin of Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect a ULN 2803IC and connect its pin number 1 to D5 pin of Arduino, its pin number 2 to D6 pin of Arduino, its pin number 3 to D7 pin of Arduino its pin number 4 to D8 pin of Arduino, its pin number 5 to D9 pin of Arduino, its pin number 6 to D10 pin of Arduino, its pin number 7 to D11 pin of Arduino, its pin number 8 to D12 pin of Arduino, its pin number 9 to ground and its pin number 10 to 5 fold pin of Arduino. After that, connect a 5 fold relay and connect its 1 coil pin to pin number 18 of the IC. After that, connect a 3-pin terminal block and connect its 1-pin to normally closed terminal of the relay and its center pin to common terminal of the relay and its other pin to normally open terminal of the relay. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 18 of the IC. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its 1-pin to positive supply and its other pin to anode of the LED. After that, connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to pin number 17 of the IC. After that, connect a three pin terminal block and connect its one pin to normally closed terminal of the relay and its center pin to common terminal of the relay and its other pin to normally open terminal of the relay. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 17 of the IC. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to anode of the LED. After that, connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to pin number 16 of the IC. 
After that, connect a 3 pin terminal block and connect its 1 pin to normally closed terminal of the relay and its center pin to common terminal of the relay and its other pin to normally open terminal of the relay. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 16 of the IC. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its 1 pin to positive supply and its other pin to anode of the LED. After that, connect a 5 volt relay and connect its 1 coil pin to pin number 15 of the IC. After that, connect a 3 pin terminal block and connect its 1 pin to normally closed terminal of the relay and its center pin to common terminal of the relay and its other pin to normally open terminal of the relay. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 15 of the IC. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to anode of the LED. After that, connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to pin number 14 of the IC. After that, connect a 3 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to normally closed terminal of the relay and its center pin to common terminal of the relay and its other pin to normally open terminal of the relay. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 14 of the IC. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to anode of the LED. After that, connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to pin number 13 of the IC. After that, connect a 3 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to normally close terminal of the relay and its center pin to common terminal of the relay and its other pin to normally open terminal of the relay. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 13 of the IC. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to anode of the LED. After that, connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to pin number 12 of the IC. After that, connect a 3 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to normally close terminal of the relay and its center pin to common terminal of the relay and its other pin to normally open terminal of the relay. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 12 of the IC. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to anode of the LED. After that, connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to pin number 11 of the IC. After that, connect a 3 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to normally close terminal of the relay and its center pin to common terminal of the relay and its other pin to normally open terminal of the relay. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 11 of the IC. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to anode of the LED. After that, I'm gonna connect a push button and connect its one pin to D2 pin of Arduino and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect another push button and connect its one pin to D3 pin of Arduino and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect another push button and connect its one pin to D4 pin of Arduino and its other pin to ground. So we have completed all the connections. Now let's upload the code to Arduino and test the project. So I have uploaded the code to Arduino and I have connected two indicators at the output of the controller, the red one as heater and the green one as cooler. And I have connected two fans to the controller. To program the set values, long press the menu button. Now with the up and down button, we can change the set values for the heater, cooler and fans. We 
can also calibrate the temperature and humidity values of the sensor. So that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.